Okay, so couple of months back, I did a video on how to mirror your Android screen on your computer using Android and TeamViewer. It works, but many people have complained about the lag. So here we are with a new app. Scrappy, short for source copy, is a new kid in town that lets you mirror your Android screen on your computer. All you need is a USB cable. But not just that, you can also use your computer keyboard and mouse as an input. But what really makes it stand out from all the other methods that we have seen so far is that this one has a least amount of lag. I mean, just look at it. I can launch the app drawer, move around, the typing is really smooth and the video playback has no latency as well. Now, source copy is not a standalone app, meaning you will have to compile the code using the ADB in your command prompt. But it's quite simple. So let's see how to do that. First things first, we will download the ADB package for Windows and extract the file to an easy location that you can find on your computer. Let's say C drive. Now on your C drive, make a folder ADB and then unzip the content to C slash ADB. Now we have to download a tool called Scrappy. The link will be in the description below. The package is available for both 32-bit and 64-bit computer separately. So choose accordingly. When the download finish, unzip the scrappy files and paste the extracted files in the same directory where adb is installed, that is c slash adb. Now the next step requires you to open the command prompt from which you can compile the code. Now change the directory to adb using the cd command. You can also hold down the shift key and right click from the adb window and select open command prompt here. But make sure you don't use the PowerShell. We will need the command prompt only. Next, you need to enable the developer option on your Android. To do that, go to settings, about phone, tap on the build number 7 times and you will see a pop-up that says you are now a developer. Now go back to the settings where you will find the developer option on the menu, tap on that, scroll down to USB debugging and turn it on. Once done, connect your Android device to your computer using the USB cable. The device should prompt you to select the option Allow USB Debugging. Grant the permission, tap on Yes. Now on the command prompt, type the following command ADB Devices. If you have done everything correctly, you should see the device name or your serial number. This means your computer is able to talk to your Android using the ADB. Now we are ready to go and start the console. For that, just type in Scrappy and hit enter. And voila, there you go. Now the console should start and you will be able to get high resolution feed from your mobile device to your computer without any lag. You can also use your mouse pointer or your keyboard as an input. Scrappy also work on your Mac and Linux, although the setup is pretty complicated. If you want, I will leave the link to that in the description of this video. That being said, it's Manal signing off, I will see you in the next one.